A big focus, the visit of British Foreign Secretary David Lamy to India in the first month of the new UK government has sent a clear signal to New Delhi that it is eager to conclude a free trade agreement between both countries. In a speech shortly before the election, David Lamy had said Labour is ready to go on the deal, adding that he saw the free trade agreement as the flaw, not the ceiling in the relationship. Beyond the specifics of the deal itself, the FTA is also important in symbolizing a renewed commitment by both countries towards the bilateral relationship. For further clarity, we have with us Jayant Krishna, Senior Fellow from the Strategic and International Studies, CSIS US. Thank you so much, as always, Mr. Krishna, for joining us. Always a pleasure to chat with you early in the morning. Not everything has gone smoothly so far, though, especially the inability to conclude this trade deal under the previous government, missing the initial deadline of Diwali 2022. But realistically, sir, before the end of the calendar year, do you see a concrete FTA on the radar? I'm, I'm very optimistic. Uh, uh, you know, I, I see that happening, you know, because a lot of homework has already happened with the earlier governments in India and in London uh, uh, and in UK. Uh, you know, 13 rounds of negotiations have already happened. 14th, uh, 14th round had commenced, but, you know, the elections were announced in both the countries. So I think uh, there are few irritants which are which are still there. You know, uh, as far as India is concerned, India would like to see, uh, you know, a greater access for, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Indians in UK, uh, especially in IT, healthcare and these kind of services, a mobility issue that I'm talking about. And of course, they would like market access for uh, many uh, categories of goods uh, at nil or, or or a very, very low custom duty. On UK side, there are still a few uh, irritants in terms of uh, cut in uh, import duties and, and, and especially some of the products which are very, very close to their hearts is, uh, you know, scotch whiskey, uh, electric yeah. uh, vehicles, uh, lamp meat, chocolates, confectionery, and so on and so forth. So I think these things are to be resolved. Otherwise, uh, most of the things have been, uh, you know, have been sorted. Uh, you know, the mobility issue is talked about quite a lot, the visa issues and so on and so forth. You know, let me let me clarify that India is not expecting the moon. All India is saying is that uh, there is a mode four, mode four of uh, GATS, which is a general agreement uh, uh, on trade in services uh, under the WTO uh, regime. And what they're saying is whatever intercompany transfers are, uh, you know, allowed, uh, you know, those should be made easier, uh, uh, especially the Indian professionals moving to UK. So I think that should happen. And, and there have been enough uh, signals, you know, the, uh, you know, uh, uh, trade secretary uh, and, and, and the, uh, you know, the foreign secretary, uh, David Lamy and uh, Jonathan, the trade secretary, they've all spoken uh, in favor of this. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, I mean, today, the, the bilateral trade between the two countries stands at around, uh, you know, 38 billion, uh, 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 you know, British uh, pounds, you know, and, and it has the scope to, uh, to be taken to a very, very different uh, level. Right. A lot of people earlier believed that when Labour Party comes to power, things may not be as good, but that's not the case. In fact, in their manifesto itself, they've talked about a new strategic relationship with India. So I'm, I'm somehow very hopeful uh, as long as these irritants are, uh, are, are uh, done, because if we do not conclude it fast, then what happens even the earlier rounds, whatever things, you know, you have come to, a, to, come to an agreement to, you know, Absolutely. people, both sides try to gravitate back to them, you know. So I think it's important. Time, time is very, very important here. Right. So then, sir, do you agree that the UK needs a strategy for India that actually goes beyond the free trade agreement, whether it's progress in areas ranging from tech, defense and the energy transition to actually taking practical steps in difficult areas, like you mentioned, UK's visa policies? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I think uh, to some extent, you know, visa policies are covered in, in, in uh, FTA also. It is not just about goods. I mean, if you look at uh, there are 26 chapters in the proposed uh, FTA, it has on goods, services, uh, investments, intellectual property rights. So a lot of things are covered. And right. uh, you're, you're right, you know, I mean, uh, there's the life beyond FTA. You know, FTA would happen, but I think it's extremely important that, uh, uh, you know, both countries uh, look at it. Uh, I mean, as as uh, the UK has said, that it is not just a floor. It is, uh, uh, it is just a, even if FTA happens, it will just be a floor, uh, starting a few steps, uh, but, but not, not a ceiling uh, for sure, I think. So I think, yes, a comprehensive strategy, but I know to be fair, uh, you know, uh, it's a new government, I mean, at least in UK, in India, 
the same government continues with slight changes here and there, right. especially uh, trade and commerce, industry, uh, uh, you know, finance. You know, the key portfolios remain the same on our side. But their side, there's a complete change of the party and, and the functionaries. To allow them some time, I think it's, it's bound to uh, whatever they have talked about in their manifesto of a new strategic relationship. I'm, I'm sure it will see the light of the day uh, sooner uh, uh, than later, you know. Meanwhile, sir, for India, the conclusion of a deal could grant New Delhi more leverage, right, in negotiations with other more significant trade partners such as the European Union, which are ongoing? I, I would uh, presume, uh, you know, uh, uh, if uh, UK-India concludes, uh, uh, you know, it will give us, uh, you know, better, uh, uh, you know, stance and posturing on the negotiation table with not only European Union, but some other countries, like with the US, for hmm. example, there is no FTA being talked about, but yes. you know there are a lot of trade evidence which remain between the two countries. You know, uh, so I think um, UK is, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, it's not all that small an economy. It's the fourth largest exporter, and the total goods of their exports, not to India but all over the world, they add up to almost uh, 855, uh, you know, uh, pounds sterling. So I think, uh, I think uh, surely, I think if that this happens, you know, it will happen. Even with Australia, for example, there is a one FTA which has happened, but that's still at a broad level, at a high level. I think the next level of detailing, uh, to my mind, is yet to be done. So surely with EU, Australia, and uh, uh, no FTA with the with US, but a lot of other trade returns, as I said earlier, they need to be resolved. So I think I, I'm very hopeful, you know. Well, thank you so much as always, Jayan Krishna, for joining us on The World 24-7. India is also watching whether the new Labour government in the UK has the means and motivation to sustain the previous administration's Indo-Pacific tilt, given its fiscal constraints and preoccupation with other foreign policy priorities.